Hi everyone, my name is Megan. Um, I've never done this before. Obviously, if you're, if there's anyone even watching this at all, you probably can tell that um, I have no idea what I'm doing. But if you would like to see how I got this makeup and get ready with me, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial. I don't have a single clue what I'm gonna do. Um, you might notice that I already have lipstick on and mascara because I work today, but um, nobody's trying to get up at 4 a.m. to do their makeup, so this is this is what we have going. I'm going to prime my eyes. I really like this one. It's really full coverage, and it makes my eyeshadow stand out a lot more, so that's what I'm using. Um, if you're going to use the um, Cody Airspun powder to just powder that down. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to makeup. I mean, I like to do like a lot of like super big looks as far as like super glam looks, I guess you could say. But I don't have all the newest products. I mean, I just don't. I just, I just don't. So. Next, pretty dusty um, from powder, not necessarily dust. I'm sure you all know what this is. Hmm. Um, this is the Conspiracy Palette by Shane Dawson. It's really great. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like an everyday, everyday look, just something simple. First, I'm gonna take the shade Tanacon, right there, and I'm just gonna throw that in my crease. This is something where if I do get up in enough time to do my makeup for work, this is what I do. Um, and I always start with my eyes first. I'm just, I'm, I'm very messy, and I like to have this out of the way by the time I get to my face makeup. That way, I don't have to worry about brushing anything away or you know anything like that so and I like to get it really dark or as dark as I can because this shades not dark at all but I like to make sure you can see it and as you can see I'm so my eyes don't look as yellow in real life as they do on this on this camera it's it's the lighting in this room honestly I mean also my animals are down there playing if you can hear all that scuffle I've got a cat and a weenie dog they are not my only animals um I also have two other dogs that are out there because if I let them in here, they will be all over the place. And we don't want that, so. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. Now I'm taking the shade Root Beer, a little bit darker. Probably saw that one coming. And I'm just putting this on the outer corner and blending it up into my crease with a smaller brush. So like I said, I have um, a dog and a cat running around down there right now. Um, the weenie dog's name is Bonnie. We just got her. And our cat's name is Claire. We've had her for about a year now. And they're wild. They just now started liking each other. So honestly, I'm not mad at it. Claire was not very happy when we got Bonnie. She's used to having her two bigger brothers. Like I said, they're large. For some reason, she likes them. But when it came down to Bonnie, who is the same size as her, she was like all bent out of shape. So I think she's just used to having bigger dogs running around. But she's gotten used to Bonnie now. They're, like I said, down here playing. 
so. Okay. Next, um, I'm gonna take a break from my eyes and I'm gonna do my brows real quick because honestly this look is really easy and all I'm gonna do next is put on like a lid shade, um, but I'm gonna do that last. Next, I'm taking this primer that I got from Wet n Wild, Dewy, mm -hmm. it's a Dewy face primer. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of that. I, I just bought this and I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm using it because I have it. Um, and the reason I'm not a fan of it is simply because it is so shimmery, like very shimmery. It gets all over my hands and it makes like, ew. So I'm not really a fan of it, but it's the only primer I've got at the moment, so it's gonna have to work. Um, so I'm gonna go in with also from Wet n Wild, the um, Photo Focus Foundation um, in Soft Ivory. I, I really like this foundation. It's really light compared to a lot of other foundations I have, but still gives me coverage. So I really like that. I've actually rebought this foundation several times and that's something that I don't usually do. I like to try new things. Um, but here lately I've just really liked it and I just keep wanting to rebuy it, so. And I'm gonna take my sponge again. So next, I'm gonna take that same concealer that I took on my eyes earlier, this L'Oreal one, I don't know if I ever said that. Um, L'Oreal Infallible. I've wanted to do YouTube for quite some time now. I have been watching YouTube. Honestly, I watch YouTube more than I watch regular TV. I haven't watched regular TV since I was probably like 16. Um, I'm 24 now, just in case you couldn't tell. I know I look like I'm five, but like I'm totally 24. And so um, I'm powdering down with the Cody Airspun again. Um, Yeah, I've been watching YouTube for a long time, and I've always wanted to do YouTube, like start it up, just as a hobby. I don't have a whole lot of hobbies, um, other than just doing makeup on my own face in my own time. Um, so I've always kind of wanted to do it, but it's just kind of scary, to be honest. Um, honestly, sitting here right now, just talking to myself, I'm just hoping and praying that my husband doesn't come home and hear me he will make fun of me and you will hear it so um, there's that also people just in general can be kind of mean uh, I'm not as worried about that as you would think one would be just because I know I've watched like I said people be pretty mean at youtubers online for several years now um, and I just kind of think that people that are like that have their own problems. Um, and I don't really care what people say. Um, that's coming from someone who hasn't done it, so um, I could just be, you know, completely wrong and going to um, set myself up for complete and utter depression here like a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer. I'm sure if by some miracle you've clicked on this video, I'm sure you've heard of Kathleen Lights. Um, she's the one who recommended this to her entire audience, and I do anything that she says, so. Um, pretty much everything I try is based off of her recommendation for the most part. Um, 
She's one of my favorites. I also really like um, Mikey from Glam and Gore. She's very funny. Um, she's kind of the one that really inspired me to do this. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. Um, I've been watching Mikey for years and she's the one who really kind of gave me the motivation. My little puppy's trying to come and see me. This is Bonnie. I love her ears. She's the best. Um, except for when she pees on the floor. Um, but that's it, buddy. All right, we're fine. So, back to business. So, I'm gonna take the two colors I used in my crease earlier and run that. Out of my makeup. <laughs> okay. So next, I'm just going to take my good old fingers and I'm going to take the color Just a Theory and put that on my lid all over the place. Um, this isn't any kind of cut crease or anything. I'm just slapping it on there. I like using my finger because it shows up the best that way. Um, so I'm just going to take the same brushes from before, one or the other, it doesn't really matter, and just kind of darken up the outer corner. Like I said, I'm pretty, I guess, sorry. Um, I don't do this like in any professional way. I'm no professional whatsoever. Um, I know everything that I know from YouTube, if that's not obvious. Um, but I just kind of do what I want. So, I also just put that Just a Theory right there. Um, so, next, um, I'm going to do a little wing with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner. It's not going to be a huge wing, just something a little small. And honestly, I don't do this every time. I just feel like doing it today. I'm going to take these lashes. These are kiss lashes in the style 11 and I'm gonna slap these babies on so that's the makeup this is my hair um, I hope you enjoyed if for some reason you did make sure to give it a like give it a thumbs up recommend me to all your friends and um, we'll see where this takes me um, you can go on this journey with me. All right, bye.